these hundreds could increase to thousands and hundred thousands, meaning they could go and on and on. This data proves that the bill is the best way to put an end to the immoral actions being done by children, which leads me to my first argument. Newton's third law of motion, also known as the law of interaction, stated that every action always has an equal and opposite reaction. This just proved that citizens, no matter young or old, rich or poor, should have a mindset that whatever bad action one did should always have a consequence or punishment for him or her, regardless of how intense or serious that crime is. This punishment does not mean that it is to violate the child's right as a person, but it acts as a lesson to let the children know that what they did is wrong and should be corrected in discipline. Plus, it is much better to correct immediately the bad actions that children do while they're still young, so that they will not get used to it and they may grow a better person in the future. My second argument is according to House Justice Panel Chairperson and Oriental Lindor, First District Representative Salvador Lichon. He said that the bill primarily seeks to protect children from being used by syndicates to do commit and com commit crimes. As we all know in the Philippines, the statistics crime rate is a bit high. For example, the murder rate in Metro Manila soared by around 112% or 3,444 from July 2016 to June 2018, significantly higher than the 1,621 murder cases from July 2014 to June 2016. Syndicates will always, always have a tendency to persuade and use children to do their crimes for them. That's why with this bill, it will become a prevention for the children from experiencing these situations and eventually in the future becoming one life. Now, let me leave you a question that will surely make you ponder a thing. Put yourself in the position of a parent of a juvenile delinquent. How would you feel to see that your child is being used by syndicates to do such crimes? That you see with your own two eyes, your child is doing such crimes in your actions. That all being said, this house firmly believes in agrees that the minimum age should be lowered than Thank you.
This is indeed partially true, but mostly it is for the dysfunctionality of the families that will need the children to be executed in certain actions. So as, so as first speaker, I will be, the point I will be showing is that the first point, it runs against the obligation to protect the welfare of children. And the second, it, the actions may be due to the background of the families of the children. And for the third, the minds of children have not yet fully developed to the decision-making so in conclusion, upon the points duly discussed by our team and citing upon the rationale that children are capable and mature enough to be put in mind, we strongly disagree with the minimum age to be lowered to nine for criminality. And with this, if we disagree, we would, we would follow the rules of the UNICEF saying that you're not, you're not running against the obligation to protect their welfare, and we're not going to have an act of violence towards them. And for second, we would put the consequences not to the child, but to the motives of the child, which will be coming from their surroundings and mostly from their own parents. And third, lastly, is that we would give them the time to think and the time to learn from their elderly and the time to have the knowledge, the morals, and the wisdom. So they would start to learn what is right and what is wrong, so that they would, in the future, follow the law and know what is correct. Good people 
to hire to hire to hire them to teach these you know delinquents to be good because as I said a while ago if they grow up thinking that what they're doing is right they will keep on doing drugs. So may I go on to my next question? Cambodia 14, but these, these countries have facilities to accommodate 
with these children at these specific ages. And therefore, if, uh, if we were to lower the age to nine, we would have to have these facilities uh, embellished and ready for these ready for these children to be added and not to be overcrowded. You see, the, the difference of the facilities in these countries that now is now in the others that you mentioned compared to the Philippines is that the people in charge of that money, of that budget, made good of it. Not, but in the Philippines, they didn't. So I think that what you're saying is irrelevant. And I can't explain it further because it says that they're not allowed to do it.
more danger to be caught by the police. So why do you think that lowering the criminal age of liability will further increase their interest in uh, higher children to move their favorite prison? It just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Thank you. 